Let's go get him. So I left my gimbal at home so the video might be a little bit shaky, but we're starting today off with going to Uprise Skate Shop in Chicago, Illinois to pick up the raffle win for the Para Dunk SB. I'm very excited. So we'll get him back to the house and uh, we'll talk about it. We'll just have a have a jaw sesh. Remember to check your equipment, kids. So I recorded the entire haul series video thing and like four seconds into it, my mic died. <laughs> so now I'm using the mic that's on top of the camera, the Rode mic, so the audio might be a little different, but uh, RIP the $12 lapel mic I bought on Amazon. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna deny you beautiful people access to the things that I buy. Hello. I'm really pumped on those paras. We're gonna go through that at the end of the video because I think that's the most important part. But I have five other things to show you, so let's do that. Let's go through them now. So this first thing is it's an Air Jordan 1. It's a size 9.5. Came from my buddy, The Goose. You can follow him on Twitter. His handle is at IanGoose1. Really good dude. I've bought from him multiple, multiple times. Always awesome. Sent me a little seashell from Myrtle Beach in the package too, so that was pretty cool. But he had a really good price on a pair that just came out and I think will go up in value. It's the Air Jordan 1 in the Jim Red colorway, or I don't really know what they called it, but not an OG colorway, but contains OG colors. So I think the value on these is only gonna go up. The nice thing about this shoe is the quality is just, it's not fantastic, but it's consistent the whole way throughout. And the leather is really, really high quality on these. So got it from a really good friend for a really good price. Give him a follow on Twitter, at IanGoose1. Thanks, Gooser, appreciate you, bud. This next thing I got is from Request Boutique. It's not a beater box, but it's actually something they had for sale for a pretty decent price. And I'd never actually seen it in hand before, so I figured why not take the plunge and get it. It's an Air Jordan 1 in my size, size 11, in case I end up liking it, which I probably won't. But it's a collaboration with Ryder Nigel Sylvester on an Air Jordan 1. This is the Nigel Sylvester Air Jordan 1. That's basically what I just said. Uh, it's this like really weird looking kind of milky looking colorway with like distressed aspects to it. It's got a little mini swoosh on the mudguard, which is something I very much enjoy. The inside swoosh is 3M. Y'all, the leather quality on this is very, very good. I'm kind of surprised. It is a worn pair, so you can see it's a little bit worn on the bottoms and a little bit of creasing, but for the price that I got these, it's about a little bit under market. So, wow, these are kind of impressive, not gonna lie. I'm not a huge fan of the colorway, but the quality is very, very good. So, bought this from Request Boutique. Check them out. It's a shop based in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Pancake is struggling to figure out how to get into my flannel to lay in it. Don't help. <laughs> this dog is hopeless sometimes. This next thing came from, uh, I think the return address was La Flame, which is pretty corny if you ask me, but it is an Air Jordan 1 low in a size 10 and a half. Not, not personal, trust me. Now that this release has come and gone, I think they're actually more limited than the highs. But again, that's a high versus a low. What are you gonna do? So yeah, I did open these before. I will say on the video that had no sound, I was very impressed with the quality on these. The Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott Low Cactus Jack. And the quality is so good on this that I think it merits a closer look. So we'll start with the outsole and the midsole. The midsole is this off-white cream sailish kind of colorway with a mocha brown outsole. 
typical Jordan 1 outsole, you'll see the embroidered in red Air Jordan Wings logo on the heel on this really, really nice, low pile, super buttery mocha brown suede. The leather on this backward swoosh, as you can see, I'm pressing on it. It's extremely soft, so that's a nice little surprise. The side panel and the vamp, as you can see, is this new buck material in black, and it's very high quality as well. Come around with the mocha suede on the eyelets, and then also on the, on the mud guard. We'll take a look at the tongue. It's got the Nike Air branding in red on a cream back background and also this cactus jack patch on the left side of the tongue black tongue with black waxed laces which is a really nice touch you can see on the medial side you have the regular swoosh but it's in the brown suede with the cactus jack branding kind of hiding behind there take a look at the insole it has Travis Scott's name on the right shoe which is the one we're looking at I am NOT a fan of this colorway good lord you're ugly but the quality on this is very very good if you're interested in getting a pair of these, I would say do it now before the prices shoot back up. But quality on this is very, very nice. I will tip my hat to Travis Scott and Air Jordan for doing that. So managed to get this off the Travis Scott website for retail. Very cool. Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low. Next up is something from someone I buy from pretty much all the time. He's responsible for about a good third of my collection. Just to add on to the collection of shoes I bought from this guy, which include the Stussy Nike Dunk Low SB, the Futura Dunk Low SB in the shark colorway. The Dave's Quality Meets Nike Air Max 90 Current Warachi collaboration in the bacon colorway. The extremely sentimental Daniel Shimizu Dunk High. And a pair I haven't even worn yet, the Ray Guns. These are dead stock and in my size. Why haven't I worn these yet? But I got these all from Liu Kang's closet. And there was one more Dunk Low SB I was looking for from the Pink Box era that I would consider attainable. Not, I mean, if I had the chance to buy Pigeons or Krugers, I definitely would, but this was one that I knew I would probably be able to get. As you, as I said before, I've already opened these up, so. This is a Nike Dunk Low Pro SB from like 2005, I think. It's a collaboration, I guess you could say, with a skater that they have done a lot of stuff with Reese Forbes. This is the Hunter colorway. I'm a huge fan of this colorway, I don't know why. It's typically not something I like because it does have a lot of brownish tones, earth tones, if you will, but the materials are absolutely crazy on this. My favorite material on this is the inside of the liner where it's this quilted orange really soft material you can see the vamp side panel and the tongue are burlap which is really really cool because there's a little bit of wear on them you can see already but it creates this very very distressed look orange swoosh orange midsole brown outsole or is that black that's brown these are colors that I typically don't like but this is just a shoe that's always been on my list and I never was able to find it for a really good price until now thanks to Luke Kang's Closet give him a follow on Instagram at Luke Kang's Closet dude posts steals all the time uh, and he's I as I said, he's responsible for like 50% of all the SBs I have because he just gets his hands on some good stuff. Give him a follow. Thank you, LKC. Appreciate you. And the last thing is you saw in the beginning of the video, I hit the raffle for the chance to buy the Nike Dunk Low Para collaboration from Uprise Skate Shop here in Chicago, Illinois. And here it is. Um, the quality on these is absolutely... Now keep in mind, when I say this, I mean for an SB. <laughs> the quality on this is absolutely bonkers. Let's take a closer look. So we'll start with the midsole and the outsole, both stark white. You'll see on the back on the heel tab, it's got the Para branding on the right sneaker and on the left sneaker, it's got the SB but in the font and colors that Para is famous for using. We'll come around towards the swoosh. The swoosh is embroidered also with some terry cloth material on the pink part of it. The embroidery creates a 3D effect which is really, really nice and you'll notice that the swoosh doesn't actually wrap around the entire shoe like a lot of Nikes, especially Dunk Lows do. The white leather throughout is very, very soft for an SB, as I said before. You can see as I'm pressing on it, it's pretty buttery. Come around to the mud guard, you'll see the blue swoosh, which I think is very, very cool. I love the mini swoosh aspect of these. Come around to the vamp is this really soft white leather, white stock laces, but you do have the option to have these crazy rainbow color rope laces. Got the PAR branding on the fat tongue. You see the Nike SB branding on the tag on the inside. The lace tips on the, on the stock laces are branded with PARA and the colors too. But this entire insole is just this absolutely cool out there design. Nike SB PARA branding on the actual insole, which is a Zoom Air insole typical for Nike SBs. 
Got the straps to hold the tongue in. Y'all, this, this shoe is just absolutely crazy. I am sold on this. I was not sold when I first saw them, but the quality and the shape of this sneaker get me to the point of liking them. So I'm, I'm a hypocrite. I'll say it out loud and proud right now. Hate white sneakers. I've bought two in the past two weeks. So there you go. The Nike Dunk Low SB collaboration with Amsterdam artist Piet Para. I think that's his first non Air Max that he's collaborated on. So very well done. Thank you to the Goose. Thank you, Familia. And thank you, Luke Kang's Closet. All their information is down below. Check them out if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I love doing these haul videos and I love that I can do the close up review stuff now, even though I'm not a reviewer. Don't, don't think I'm good at it. It's fun to do, but I'm not good at it. Uh, there are two beater boxes hanging out right over there. We got to open them. I'm actually going to be doing one on Friday and we're going to be doing another one on Sunday. Basically all I got for you. Thanks for taking the time to watch. I hope you have a really good rest of your week. We'll see you on Friday. Till then, Take care of each other and remember to treat people the way that you want to be treated. Bye!